So here we have our newly rebuilt 2 litre Ford ZTEC engine taken from a 1999 Ford Cougar. We've rebuilt it completely, so we've, we've taken it right down as far as replacing the, all the oil seals, gaskets, um, bearings, um, spark plugs, the lot. So mechanically the engine itself is pretty much brand new. And we've connected it up here with all the other ancillary parts that we've taken straight out of the car, so that they're all a little bit dirty and will be replaced eventually. So we've got the original exhaust manifold, inlet manifold, radiator, um, water pump, um, power steering pump and, and the like. Um, on the other side we have the original wiring loom and a load of other parts that aren't really necessary like the, the blower fan, just, just to test that everything was working fine and that all the earths were distributed properly. We've still got the original dashboard and the original ECU running it. Down here is the heater matrix, so this just takes hot water that's come back from the coolant um, that's passed through the engine. On the far end here is the fuel tank, and we've it's got a, a new fuel pump in it. We'd had a bit of a problem with the previous fuel pump, but everything seems to be fine now. In the background here is the car that it will eventually go into. So this is a 1996 Mark IV Ford Fiesta that's currently got a 1.25 um, four-cylinder um, ZTEC engine in. Um, on the other side uh, we can see the, the back part of the inlet manifold and we've had to cover up a few of the, uh, the pipes that would otherwise go off on, to, to provide vacuum um, for parts that we haven't got connected up yet so that's these little rubber parts here. Um, the coolant is all filled up, the engine is up and ready to run. Um, we were very pleased that this turned over first time, fired up with no problems at all, so um, it looks like we're on to a winner here. So we're looking forward to moving on and building the new inlet manifold, new exhaust manifold, um, doing some modifications to the head. I've built a new ECU for it, but I think we'll continue using the original Ford ECU, which is down here, this grey box. Um, we'll just continue using that until I'm happy that everything's working fine. Hello, Palo. Hello. <laughs> so Palo's going to fire up the engine for us. On the left here is the ignition slot, and on the right is a coil that is powering the RFID tag for the immobiliser, and they need to be put in in a specific order so that the immobiliser works correctly and the ECU is happy that it's the correct key. So I'll just stand back. So if Palo goes on to the second position, that little whiz there is just the sound of the pr fuel pump priming and making sure there's enough pressure. So, far away. 